Hello everybody and welcome to Kids at Mid Church. Today is a very special day in the life of the church. Today is Pentecost Sunday. Now, what does Pentecost mean? Well, it literally means 50. Today is 50 days since Easter, since Jesus rose from the dead. And 50 days after Jesus rose from the dead, something amazing happened. The Holy Spirit came in might and power and the church was born. So today is a birthday. Isn't that cool? Well, the story of the church's birth comes to us from the book of Acts. Let's take a listen to the story. Stories of the Bible. God sends the Holy Spirit. These are the apostles. Hello. They followed Jesus during his time on earth. Before Jesus went to heaven, he told them to stay in Jerusalem until God sent the gift he promised. See ya. So after Jesus went to heaven, the apostles stayed in Jerusalem along with the other people who believed in Jesus. One day they were all gathered together when there was a sound from heaven like a mighty windstorm. Whoa! Then what looked like flames appeared and settled on each of them, and everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak in other languages, and so they started speaking. At that time, there were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. When they heard the loud noise, they came running to see what it was. What's going on? When they saw the believers speaking in their own languages, they were shocked and amazed. Hey, Jesus! They wondered, how can this be? These people are from Galilee, and yet we hear them speaking in our own native languages about the wonderful things God has done. What can this mean? Nah, whatever. But others in the crowd didn't believe that it was really a miracle and thought the believers were just acting oddly. Nah. Then Peter stepped forward and shouted to the crowd, Hey, all you! Listen carefully, all you! He told them that they were not acting strangely, but that this was from God. He reminded them that God said this would happen long ago. Then Peter told them about how Jesus was crucified, but then raised to life again, just as God had said he would be. He told them that Jesus was now in heaven and that God had given the Holy Spirit to them as he had promised. Peter's words changed what the people thought and felt, and they asked, Brothers, what should we do? Peter told them, Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Wow! Peter continued to preach to the crowd for a long time, and those who believed what Peter said were baptized. 3,000 people were baptized and added to the church that day. Then all the believers listened to the apostles' teaching and practiced what they taught. Hey! They met together in fellowship, shared meals, and prayed together. They were amazed as the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. All the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. Here you go. Take this. Ah, thank you. They helped those in need. Here, this is for you. Thank you. Worshipped together at the temple every day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy all while praising God and enjoying each other. And each day, God added to their fellowship those who were being saved. Okay, so you might say, Karen, that was a really awesome story, but it happened well over 2,000 years ago. What does it mean for us today? Well, guys, the church has continued since that very first day, and it continues to grow in strength and in numbers. Why? Because of the work of the Holy Spirit in the lives of people 
who believe in Jesus. That's you and me. When we believe in Jesus and we invite the Holy Spirit to come and live in our hearts and we live lives filled with the Holy Spirit, guided by the Holy Spirit, the church grows. And did you see what those very first Jesus followers did? Well, they worshipped together. They shared what they had with others. They helped people who were in need. They shared in the Lord's Supper. That's communion. And that's what we do here at Mid Church once a month. They fellowshiped together. That's just a fancy way of saying they had fun together as Christians. They ate together. They spent time together. Guys, that's what the church is. The church isn't a fancy building. The church is you and me. People who believe in Jesus and have been filled with his Holy Spirit to do his work, to grow his kingdom here on earth. So, say happy birthday to the church. That's to you and me. And let's pray that the Holy Spirit will continue filling us and guiding us to work for God's kingdom. So that's our lesson for today, guys. It's Pentecost Sunday. Come Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye, guys. See you next time.